we are going to be eating everything that you see here all this week. This might look like a lot or a little bit of food depending on what you do weekly for yourself and your own household. This is mostly uh, weekly perishable items for two people. And then if you've watched my pantry tour, I go over what we have around the house on a regular basis. There is a little bit of restock that I will talk through, but mostly we are gonna be eating everything that you see here all this week. These are things that are kind of more perishable. We can't keep around for a longer period of time with the potatoes, garlic, and onion being an exception. At the beginning of the um, panini, we had a really difficult time finding those things. They were just not in stock in grocery stores and figured that because they last longer, there's no reason that we need to be rolling those things week to week. But everything else has a specific purpose and intent. When we are grocery shopping, we will come up with a list on Fridays. I come up with a list and work with my husband and do recipe planning for the entire week. We go shopping once a week on Saturday mornings, and then he's the one who actually goes to the grocery store. We have that list that we stick to. Everything is going to be used for something that we have already specifically specifically pre-planned for the week. So I'm gonna run through all of that with you and then I'm also gonna do prep so you can see how we keep them fresh for a whole week. Most of this stuff as you can see is without packaging. We even do buy um, loose stuff and put it into a mesh bag rather than using the plastic bags that are at the store. And then we have reusable grocery bags that we always bring with us. But we have a couple of things that are in plastic packaging, one of which is what I will show you first and it is what is in our freezer. And that is frozen corn. I would be super curious if any of you are zero waste as well and you have found a better alternative for corn. This is something that we can't give up. We put it in so many of our recipes. It's also a great snack to just put a little salt and pepper on, microwave it and enjoy it. We throw it into so many of our dishes and eat it on a regular basis. So it's something that um, is a staple for us. I have looked at canned corn. I haven't done too deep of a dive to see if it's a better zero waste option. And then I've also tried uh, dried corn and rehydrating it in my Instant Pot and that was just not a viable option. So if you have good suggestions, I would love to hear about it because I would love to get rid of the plastic packaging. The other thing that's in plastic packaging is strawberries. I eat these with my breakfast every morning. If you've watched either my granola recipe, my, I can't remember if it's my first or second vlog where I do just raw oats and then I talk through that that's what I have for breakfast every morning. These come in the plastic cloches. I always transfer them into jars like this because it lasts a lot longer. There's less air so they breathe less and they won't actually end up getting mold on them. I don't wash them or clean them or anything. I just put them in dirty and whole and then I will pick out the ones that I want and rinse them and cut them up when I'm gonna use them. And the only prep that I'll do with these is if I am going into work, I will cut them up and put them into a container just the day before. The other plastic packaged thing that we have for this week is we are gonna be making my kale and white bean stew for dinners and we really like having bread with it. So we did buy some take and bakes we usually get whole wheat, but this is all that they had at the store for us. It doesn't have any oil in it, so that is the reason why we bought it. I do like to buy from bakeries if I can. If you have a Panera near you, I don't know if they're doing it with the panini now, but um, they used to let us bring in our bags and then they would just load um, a whole loaf in there. So there are options, we just didn't pick that for us this week. And these, to make them um, last as long as possible, we will stick in the freezer so that they don't get moldy or go bad. As for the potatoes, onions, and garlic, we have a sideboard in our dining room with some little baskets underneath. We'll pull out what we think we need for the week and bring it into the kitchen. Um, we have a little plate that we put our garlic on we have this bowl that sits over here um, that we'll load our potatoes into for the week. So we pull some forward, put them in here so that they're easily accessible. Then for the onions, we actually store those in the fridge. After we've gone through the week when we were making the grocery list on Fridays, we'll just count how many we've used up for the week, roll everything forward so that we're using the oldest first, and then that's how many we figure to buy for the next week. For potatoes, my husband and I actually eat a potato each a day for lunch. We don't really keep an extra stock of, we will just get the same number that we would normally get every week, so 10 of them. The potatoes that we have for lunch are these ones, the russets. Um, we bought some golden Yukon for this week because that goes into my kale because that goes into my kale and white bean stew. The tomatoes are also for the kale and white bean stew. These we leave out on the counter. Um, if you hadn't heard this before, tomatoes are actually best left up on the counter and used as quickly as possible so that they're fresh. Putting them in the fridge 
I don't know the exact details, but it makes them not as flavorful. Uh, then we've got a couple of pantry restock items over here. We just bought some extra mustard for the pantry because we were running low. We got another thing of salt. This goes up in the spice cabinet. I haven't shown uh, the rest of my kitchen. I did my pantry tour, but I'm also gonna be doing a fridge and freezer tour. What else is in the rest of my cabinets, including um, our spice cabinet? I don't know exactly when those videos are gonna be coming out um, or if it's just gonna be one or multiple videos, but I will link those because if you're just curious about kind of my whole kitchen process, I'll kind of put that as like a, probably a playlist and a you know, mini series um, so that you can check everything out. And then all that's left are the veggies. We have carrots with lunch every day as well, um, both my husband and I. Celery, we always have around. Um, if you store this in water, it lasts for weeks. So do the carrots, but we don't um, tend to buy more than we actually need every week. The greens, most of what's here is for salad. So we always do a kale, spinach, bell pepper, cabbage salad. I've done one dressing on um, here. We've played around with a few. Um, we have like a peanut ginger, a ginger kind of like miso dressing, the honey mustard um, dressing. So we kind of switch between those, but we always have the same base and we have salad with dinner every day. And then just a good storage tip on cabbage. Um, it lasts longer if, if you actually pull it off like outer leaf by outer leaf. This one's actually kind of messed up, so maybe I can show you. We just peel off whatever the outer leaf is that we're going to use it will usually come off in a whole piece if it's intact, unlike this one. But if you just peel it off from the outside, it'll stay fresh for a really long time. We always do a mix of red and green cabbage. And as you can see, this one's gotten really tiny because we've peeled everything off um, from the outside in. And we've done the same for this one, but we didn't get red cabbage this week um, just because this is enough to last us for another week. Bell pepper, we also keep whole until we're gonna use it up. I think I've maybe shown a video of how I prep, but um, if you've seen me cut a uh, bell pepper before, I'm not gonna do these, I'm gonna leave them whole, but we cut off the top and then you cut around so that you keep the whole outside in one piece and then you get the stem and the seeds all together in one piece and you can throw that into your compost without getting seeds all over your kitchen. And then we just slice them um, and cut them up and use it. So just keep the extras in a little container and um, they will stay fresh. Oh, and then we buy cilantro every week, which I don't, I don't like cilantro. I'm one of those people where it tastes kind of like soap, but my husband loves cilantro. He puts it on a lot of his dishes. So I usually have him prep this so I don't have to. He actually is the one who does most of the veggie prep, but I wanted to show you um, what veggie prep weekly looks like for us and how we store everything. These are the easiest, the celery and carrots, so I'm gonna leave those until last. With all four of these, the two different types of kale, the spinach and the cilantro, it all gets prepped the same way. Um, we have a huge metal container that we'll fill with water. For the, the kale, um, we take the stems out and cut the leaves up and then rinse them. And then we have a salad spinner that we throw it into and you salad spin it. And then we keep it in the large containers that you saw in the fridge. So we have two of these in the fridge. One is for kale and one is for spinach. I also start by sifting through my spinach to see if there's anything that's funky. I'll do the same for the kale, but it tends to always be in pretty good condition. Because what I do find is that if there's slimy spinach like this, your spinach won't last as long. So it's really important to sift through and make sure that everything looks good before you go and start actually like washing and drying it. There's not usually that many, but you just want to make sure that you kind of get the, uh, the bad apples. We store our carrots whole. Um, I did a video a while back, I can't remember, where we used to cut them up kind of like carrot sticks, but now we just cut off the top and bottom and store them in water in a big mason jar. And then we pull them out and eat a whole carrot um, for lunch every day. So I change the water out at least once a week. Um, if it just starts to look dingy, I will pour it out and refill it with water. And then especially when I do veggie prep every week, that is when I will make sure that I change it. The cilantro, my husband just sticks into one of these storage containers. And then the celery, we also stick either into one of those or this one, which is just a really nice shape and it keeps the little pieces in there really compact so it doesn't take up a lot of space. So there's everything, the kale and spinach, the kale that'll get frozen, and then celery and carrots and water so that they will last as long as possible. I would really love to hear from you in the comments if you learned anything from this video, um, if you do things similar to me, if you do things different from me. I just always think it's really interesting to hear what other people are doing in their kitchens and how they grocery shop and try to reduce their own waste in the kitchen. So share all of that in the comments below. I would love to hear from you. I'm always looking to improve, um, but we've got a pretty good system down that I feel good about and hopefully I 
have passed something on to you through this video. So thank you for watching and see you next time. Bye.